So also, what's the big focus for Ericsson at Mobile World Congress? It's all about showing real case examples of how enterprises are using the latest when it comes to AI-powered applications, automations, VR and AR to enhance their business, drive innovation, drive increased collaborations. So you will see a lot of exciting demos, but you'll see a lot of our partnerships uh, that without those, we wouldn't be able to move what's possible into reality. So it's all about the ecosystem. But can you give us an example of a customer where your 5G technology has made a real difference? So right now, where I think we're at a very exciting moment uh, where we see more and more companies going from testing with a technology like 5G AI to actually starting to up, uh, scale it out. Uh, at MWC this year, we're going to show our partnership with JLR, Jaguar Land Rover, and how they actually applying 5G to enable the scaling of machine learning, AI applications, but frankly also machine collaboration, getting the real-time data insights at the time when it matters, at the shop floor, in their day-to-day -day manufacturing of cars. Wow. Uh, and that is not only about 5G, right? 5G is just the connectivity foundation that enables their transformation. But we have uh, partners such as Zebra, we have the Solstice system. Fujitsu has been the integration partner to really make this happen end to end. We have Litmus, their data platform that's been fundamental in this transformation. And we're just making sure it can be connected uh, in a secure, reliable fashion. I think it's a great example where we see how these partnerships come together to really enable a massive transformation for JLR. They're cutting copper. Yeah. So talking about cutting the copper, replacing that, so they can make changes in their factory before it took months. Now they can do it in not only weeks, but in minutes, in sometimes seconds. It's a huge business opportunity, isn't it? It's a huge uh, opportunity, and that's the one, frankly, we've been betting the farm on for quite a few years. In fact, even since we started designing the technology of 5G. Uh, but I think the way to think about it is the transformation is here to tackle business problems. So if you take that as an example and making that possible, it's not about 5G. It's about what you can solve, what problems you can solve with better intelligence, real time, automation, where it's adding value. And that's, I think, the cusp of development that we now start to see. We still have most of the companies have, are on the starting part of this journey. They're not through it yet. But we start to see example over example where companies making progress and actually start to get to that maturity level where they can reap those benefits. Do you think people have grasped just how big this business transformation is going to be? Well, I think we're a few, <laughs> at least in, in our company, and otherwise we wouldn't make these investments, which may, at the, you know, may look big at the moment. But I think if you look at, in the context of the opportunity, uh, and I think what is hard is more to say, when will you have that tipping point where you go from high growth to actually real scale, right? Uh, and I think to your point, the exciting thing, we still have that ahead of us. And I'm convinced that will happen because of all the examples we start to see now yeah. from the playground to real scale in an operational setting. And to your point, we still have the big, exciting opportunity of scaling it from operations to a cross scale in a company, to cross scales in an industry across nations. Ericsson seems to be really on a roll at the moment. I'm excited to see what you're going to demo at MWC. Also, it's always a pleasure. Looking forward to it. See you there.